today i <coughs> will talk with you on net ex next experiment determination of calcium content in milk by stoichiometric method first principle the determination of calcium in milk based on the complexometric titration of calcium with an aqueous solution of the sodium salt of edt at high ph value ph 12 when ph 12 it is acidic or basic we know when ph 7 it is sir thare ta basic yes six or basic when ph 7 it is neutral ph and when more than ph 7 it is basic 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 solution basic and when lower than 7 this ph is called acidic acidic ph acidic ph so in this experiment we use edt so edt is solution and its ph is basic basic ph complexometric titration is a type of titration based on titration based on complex formation between the analyte and titrant in this experiment during titration a complex is formed a complex is formed between analyte and titrant so this type of titration is called complexometric titrant titrant titration just in his formation of complex such compounds are capable of forming chelate complexes with many cation in which the cation is bound in a ring structure cation just bound ring structure the ring result from the formation of salt like bond between the cation and the carboxyl group together with a coordinate bond do the lone pair of electron of the nitrogen atom therefore the common form of the agent is disodium salt disodium salt na2h2 edta it is colorless and can be wet and dissolved in water to form a stable solution this type of solution is formed stable solution at high ph more than 10 more than 10 and i already i already discuss in above ph 12 so ph must be more than 10 the remaining protons leave edta form a edta for negative ion indicator in this experiment we use indicator solochrome dark blue solochrome dark blue is a dark blue or navy color chemical constituents is a suitable indicator in this case so we use solochrome dark blue indicator in this experiment for the determination of calcium the dye itself has a blue color blue color deep blue basically deep blue or navy color this blue dye also form a complex with the calcium ion changing color blue color from blue to pink blue to pink oblique red in this process but the dye metal ion complex is less stable than the edta metal ion complex as a result when the calcium ion dye complex is titrated with edta the calcium ion reacts to form a stronger complex with the edta changing the dye color to blue calcium indicator plus edta three reversible react reversible reaction calcium edta ion plus indicator in this experiment when we just start titration first after few minutes and few minutes titration the blue color 
is changes to p public pink public light pink or red color then we list up citation and calculate for the result how to determine determine calcium in the presence of magnesium this method for determining calcium ion concentration in the presence of magnesium ion release on the fact that the ph of the solution is sufficiently high the ph will be approximately 12.5 due to the addition of the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution to ensure that for magnesium ion precipitate as magnesium hydroxide before the indicator is added in this condition magnesium ions are precipitated as hydroxide and do not interfere with the determination of calcium in which i talked already how to determine calcium in the presence of magnesium in the presence of magnesium how can we determine calcium you first read principle or methods of this experiment principle in his principle and methods methods of the experiment who is salt used in this experiment edta and ph will therefore how many types of reaction occur in this experiment and which color changes during the experiment which indicator used in this experiment solochrome dark blue solochrome dark blue how work solochrome dark blue in this experiment and which reaction occur in this in the conduct of the experiment next chemical and reagent chemical reagent and materials we use in the experiment first 10 molar sodium hydroxide distill water solochrome dark blue indicator and 0.5 molar edt solution only four chemical and reagent we use in this experiment for the determination of calcium first 8 molar sodium hydroxide distill water solochrome dark blue and edt solution next instrument and apparatus used in this experiment first conical flux burette burette stand cotton electric balance weighing paper measuring cylinder panel glass rod beaker and dropper this apparatus and instrument we used in this experiment next methodology of the experiment step 1 take the take the weight of 10 ml milk sample first we take 10 ml milk sample in a conical flux then combine 10 ml of milk sample 40 ml distilled water and 4 ml 8 molar sodium hydroxide solution into a conical flux step 3 allow solution to stand for about 5 minutes with occasional shredling shredling means shaking shaking just occasionally shaking to properly mix the solution a small of magnesium hydroxide may precipitate during this time when we shake the mixer then a small amount of magnesium hydroxide precipitate in the solution do not add the indi indicator until you have given this precipitation a change to form step 4 add 6 drop 5 to 6 drop solochrome dark blue in the sample mixer titration with edt solution and continue till blue and navy color appear titration titration so we use edt solution ph more than 12 sample is used in burette and we start titration 
no hedging needed in this experiment just we take a edta solution in burret and burret and we use the sample mixer in conical flux or beaker in the lower burret then we start titration then we, we start titration and we continue titration till blue and navy color appears blue or navy color appears we continue titration when blue or navy color appear then we stop the titration and calculate calculate for the result generally we use in our last in our last practice we use in this area three formula we can use three formula for the determination of calcium generally we use number 3 formula percent of calcium ion equal to weight of calcium ion oblique weight of sample into 100 weight of sample into 100 or amount of calcium equal to molarity of edta into volume of edta in ml into 40 0.78 by weight of sample into 100 this formula is generally used in our lab for the determination of calcium from mill in the lecture section we first about the topic of mill last class i talk about milk milk is a white color liquid that is generally secreted from the mammary gland of mammals it is a suitable it is a suitable and balanced food for a living system it contains lipid protein carbohydrate minerals and different types of essential nutrients in milk then calcium calcium is the most abundant mineral in human it is generally required for the formation of bone and the essential part of the skeleton of the living system milk and milk alternatives nutrition comparison per cup cow milk whole when lipid protein fat exists in this solution calcium 300 mg protein 7.99 g total fat 9 g sugar 10.99 total carbs 10.99 calories 1.66 last goat milk goat milk similar calcium found 300 mg protein 7.99 but fat but fat quantity is very low 2.50 sugar quantity same carbs quantity same and calories quantity 1.01 next biological and pathological role of calcium calcium we know calcium is essential for the building of bone support supporters of synthesis of the function of blood cell it is regulates the concentration of contraction of muscle nerve conduction and the clotting of clotting of blood and many more essential function found in calcium the another main function enabling the formation of the skeleton such as bone formation and bone remodeling is generally conduct calcium 
binding. Calcium ions may be complexed by putting the binding the carbonyl group, glutamic acid, aspartic acid residues, go interacting the phosphoryl, phosphorylated serine, tyrosine, threonine, and others essential amino acid solubility. As an example of the wide range of solubility of calcium compounds, monocalcium phosphate is very soluble in water. 80%, 85% of extracellular calcium is a dicalcium phosphate with a solubility of 2.0 millimole. Nutrition. Already I talked with you. The nutritional value of calcium is very high. It is generally used in the it is generally <clears throat> used as a binding material of a living system. It is essential for bone formation, blood clotting, blood circulation system, and many others. Hormonal regulation of bone formation, bone formation and serum levels. Abnormal serum levels, kidney stone, kidney stone, excessive dietary calcium intake increase the risk of the kidney stone. So we are, we intake calcium, but we do not intake more calcium because it is a high risk for the formation of calcium, uh, formation of kidney stone, and it is a major cause kidney failure or kidney damage, bone disease. As a calcium is required for bone development, many, many bone disease can be traced to the organic material, molecular structure of the organization of bone. So calcium level, the optimum calcium level is necessary for the healthy bone, formation of healthy bone. Last class we talked about titration indicator, how can we prepare five, M, five molar sodium hydroxide preparation of 0.5 molar EGTA solution, significance of this experiment. Significance of this experiment, why we determine the calcium level from me. This experiment, indicates the purity of calcium. We know calcium level of different sources of milk at different levels. If, if we found the normal level, then we ensure the milk is pure and some other reasons helping bile, stone, bones and teeth, 